On this episode of The Silburn Show, the Solution-Oriented Summit, creating a platform for effective discourse, seeking solutions and impacting actions, tackling knife and gun crime in our community. Let it not be our legacy. With your host, Silburn Sidiel and Stefan Gislain. With Layla Thomas of Urban Synergy. Come back to the second round, third round, fourth round at the Crystal Palace Jamaica Basic School Foundation and uh, those on live streaming on, on social media and welcome to ladies here. Now, before we get on to Miss Cherry Johnson talking about county lines and uh, social media, which is very crucial, I happen to see Miss Layla Thomas. That's Hello. correct, yes? That's correct. It's Layla Thomas, yes. Layla Thomas from Urban Synergy. Uh, she has been on my show already, the Silburn Show. But Layla, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're in your colours, Jamaican colours. I am, I am. Are you going to run around the park because you're always running all over the place and stuff <laughs> like that? <laughs> you have to have a lot of energy for your community. You always have to have energy for yeah. your community. Now, Urban Synergy, which your project is, if you tell me a bit about ur Urban Synergy for the persons and also the key role it is playing now, as you know, this event and this discussion is around solutions, oriented summit, tackling knife and gun crime. Yeah. yeah, with the work that you're doing and the mentorship program, if you can explain that and target towards this um, solution. Sure. Um, Urban Synergy is an early intervention mentoring charity. Uh, works with 11 to 18 year olds. Yes. So it's working with uh, young people to broaden their career horizons um, when it comes to, you know, talk, this is about knife crime. Yes. Uh, young people, especially in, in London, you know, being excluded yes. in school. But a lot of the reasons for that, the root core is about aspirations, yes. um, opportunities, uh, showing them young people where they can be. Yes. So, you know, exposing them to life beyond the school gates. Yes. So sh exposing them to positive role models, so lawyers, pilots, engineers, scientists, doctors. Yes people that come from similar communities to themselves and look like them as well. Because when they turn on the TV, what young people are seeing a lot of is sport profession, uh, sport um, personalities and music um, industries. But they're not seeing people who look like them uh, in, in those different professions. Yes. So what we're doing, we're um, bridging that gap. Yes. We're mentoring young people at a young age in school and then connecting them to opportunities in the city in Canary Wharf. Yes. Um, so they can make money. And it's very crucial what you said right there because uh, most times uh, teachers, and I hear, I'm from Jamaica, I came here in 92, so uh, I, I'm an immigrant, yeah. but I'm coming straight from Yard, yeah. where everybody I see look like me, Yes. so therefore I have no issue about my identity. Yes. But what most time persons say in this country is that uh, in school, sometimes their teachers tend not to encourage them beyond. Yeah. They tend to say you won't amount to much. Well, also there's a stereotype as well. So if you turn on the TV and the news, the amount of times you see young boys, you know, with knives and everything and, and, and broken families. So sometimes um, teachers can ex have low expectations of those young boys in particular. Yeah. Um, so what we do and try and do is bring those role models into the school. So it challenges those stereotypes um, in the school yeah. so they can see people from different backgrounds you know working in this, those different industries as well yeah. and it, it's just like for you know my saying is how can you respect a community that doesn't respect itself mm -hmm. so if you go back to help those young people to make that next step because if you want if a, a child says they want to be a pilot yeah. sometimes parents don't know how to facilitate that, to facilitate that. Yeah. but when you bring the pilot into the school and they say you need to join this network right. or if they want to be in technology you need to do this or, you know, sometimes young people don't even know on CVs that yes. if you don't put certain keywords in your CV, mm. then agencies won't pick that up. Right. You know, it's... It's, it's, it's a bit like hashtag. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. So they're, they're street um, knowledgeable, but they're not... When you only ask a young person to say, tell me your greatest achievement in a professional manner, they shut down. Yes. But, you know, they're, they're very confident in school and amongst their friends, but as soon as it comes out meeting in a professional, building a professional career, yes. they, they're not that confident. They right. need people to help them to shine in that way. And, right. Yeah. So, so therefore, the practical way how you, Urban Synergy operates is by bringing in the persons there who are out there doing the work, 
That's which right. makes it easier for you, isn't it? You're that's just right. really facilitating it. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I work in technology myself, <laughs> and yeah. um, well, that's one of the things for me. You know, yes. I, I was the, like the only female amongst a team of 13 guys. Yes. And I thought, I don't, see, you know, we need to inspire girls at a young age well, yeah. to show that what you know you can work in that industry and what it's like to work in that industry, and it's actually yeah. fun to work in that industry. Yes. You know, to inspire them. Inspiration is a big thing. Yes. You know. So, so how can persons then uh, get involved and get involved with Urban Synergy? We've got a website. So, yes. our website's um, www.urbansynergy.com. Yeah, we put that um, on there, yeah. So, you can volunteer your time. You can donate your money because what we're doing this summer, we're taking young people like on experiences. So, we yes. take them to Downing Street. We we do fun things. Reach climbing wall. We're taking them to Fort Park. And one of the big things that we're doing is we've um, raised funds so they're going to get ILM level two qualification. Right, right. Um, so they get a quali you know, qualification that they can use that gives them UCAS points. And these are for 15 year olds. So we, what, everything we do with those young people is building up their profile. You know, they even met Usain Bolt last week, as you yeah. saw. Oh, yeah. He's, is he here today? Is he running down here today? Uh, no, you know, not, not, yeah, I saw him. Watch him, just before, just sneaky yeah. guy. Just <laughs> yeah, sneaky exactly. guy. <laughs> he's going to be busy opening his chain of restaurants. Yes, so, yes, yeah, yes, he's, yes. he's got a lot to do. But what we do is just, um, you know, it's just for self esteem, self worth, yes. and let them know there's a community that really cares about them because all children respond positively to love. Yes. And I think that's, that's a massive, um, makes a massive difference. Good. Well, Leila, listen, I want to thank you so much thank for you. getting to sneak you away from your family and your yeah. entourage because your entourage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your, your, your entourage wouldn't come back, so we say, let's just have you now, you know? <laughs> say hi, Mom. You. Hi, Mom. <laughs> and Dad. Okay. We can't leave them out. Oh, yeah. oh, well, well, and family you. and sisters and cousins. <laughs> yeah. thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on The Silburn Show. And uh, of course, what I'd like you to do is to like the videos, share the videos, and subscribe to the channel. Let people know about it. But important thing is also to comment. Let us get your comment, let us get your views, so we can understand how to even please you better, ladies and gentlemen. So as I said, share, like, subscribe. Ah, thank you. I saw you there. You subscribed and you shared. Thank you so much. See you next time.